An estuary is anywhere where rivers meet the sea. So this segment is going to be about animals that live in the river delta. A little bit about deltas. Um, LG also mentioned that we have a tremendous amount of rivers that come into the top of Mobile Bay. And when rivers come into a large shallow body of water, for instance a bay, then the water slows down and it spreads out. And when the water slows down, it tends to drop a lot of the sediment that it's carrying with it. And deltas actually get their name because that sediment usually forms triangle shapes. And that's the shape of a delta, the Greek letter delta. And so deltas are very important habitats for different species of animals. And here with me I have this is Dr. David Nelson, and he's with the University of South Alabama. He's a biologist there. And he also happens to be um, a pretty good expert on the Alabama red-bellied turtle. The Alabama red-bellied turtle inhabits the Mobile Tensaw Delta in the freshwaters. They occur in the rivers, in the bays, and the backwaters. The major reason for their endangered status is because of an extremely restricted geographic distribution. They're found only in the southern parts of Mobile and Baldwin County in and around the Delta and in one river system in Mississippi. This is the official state reptile for Alabama. Can you tell us a little bit about um, what these things eat and where they nest and that kind of stuff? Very good. They're vegetarians. They stay in the water most of their lives. They feed upon the submergent plants uh, and like all turtles they lay eggs on land. And uh, this is a shell of an adult female. Uh, one like this may weigh 13 pounds. Uh, and they come onto land to lay their eggs in June and July. So um, that female, it looks like, does she, is that shell actually have a red belly on it? The belly of the female tends to turn more yellowish with age. When they're young, they're quite red, and they get more yellow with age. So this one is uh, more yellow. Hey, I see you have some live ones over here in your terrarium. Why don't you pick one of those up and, uh, and show us? Or okay. you want to show us the eggs first? Yeah, I'm going to show you the eggs first because um, these are what the eggs look like. These turtles lay from 16 to 18 eggs at a time, uh, and oftentimes they're eaten by raccoons uh, and other animals. These are what the eggshells look like if the raccoon has had dinner. And if the so, first I have a question about the shells. So these are um, these are not like shells, like an egg shell. These are more like what? Kind these, of describe them. These are the remnants of the egg, with the egg having been eaten. So oftentimes you're walking around and you see the re remainders of the egg. So shell. are they kind of leathery? I guess is what I'm yeah, getting they're, at. They're they don't have of, hard shells like they're, chickens. They're they have semi leathery hard, shells. but they're they're somewhat hard. Okay. This is a hatchling Alabama red-bellied turtle. You see their reddish color underneath. This is a juvenile, one year old, that hatched March a year ago. Again, it has the bright red color, and you can see they're fairly bright. The problems of the Alabama red belly turtle are, are numerous. When we dredge rivers, we cause siltation, we damage the vegetation. Like all reptiles, they're cold-blooded and they need to bask for body heat. If we remove the basking logs, they have difficulty remaining active. When we build bulkheads or lay rocks on the side, they can't get to the land to lay their eggs. And oftentimes when we remove the vegetation, their eggs are more obvious to the predators, the raccoons and the possums and things. So if you had one thing that you could ask people, the students and the teachers out there, that they could do to help out the Alabama red-bellied turtle, what would it be? What we can do to conserve the Alabama red-bellied turtle is to conserve its habitat with the fresh water, keep the vegetation that they can eat, allow them basking logs on which to bask, allow them places to nest near the water, free access, and watch them on the road because we hit them with our cars on the causeway.